And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Sausage Hub for another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing awesome today. So today we have another sales video. We're gonna be going over the sales for I think the last week and a half in June and the first week of July. So let's jump right into it. Moving on with some trading card sales, we have two orders of cards from the same buyer. So the first one was a lot of 12 cards, which were Nitrium, Jackhammer, the Cliffside Realm, the Labyrinth Realm, Iridium, Drift Tech, the Chrome Realm, the Swamp Realm, Hyper Battle Spec, the Junk Realm, Spinebuster, and a copy of Power Rage card that I'm also struggling to keep in stock. So Realm cards moving left and right. Total in this order was $32 even. And let's jump into the second order. And the second order we're actually not gonna flip through because it was mostly duplicates of common cards. It was 48 total cards, 28 of them were unique. It was a lot of uh, shifts, hazards, and mods and uh, some of the more common vehicles. But the total on this order was $65 even for this order. So thank you for these purchases, hopefully you enjoy. I'm assuming you're using these to play the card game, so that is super cool. All right, guys, we sold some more Accelerator's cards last night, so let's take a look at it. It was a lot of 21 total cards. Most of them were uncommons and rares, so let's take a look at it. It was a copy of Hyper Baseline, Technetium 2. These starter set vehicles I'm starting to run real low on, so if you're needing them, uh, I would definitely get them soon because uh, I don't plan on buying any more starter sets anytime soon, that's for sure. Then we had Vector Magnesium, RDO 6 version 2, RDO 3 Plus, Hyper Drift Tech, Vector Excellium, Battle Spec 2, Torqued Riveted, RDO 4 version 2, Vector Metalloid, Ratified 2, Torqued Rolling Thunder, RDO 3 version 2, Torqued Pile Driver, Vector Octanium, Vector Iridium, Power Bomb, Hyper Nightlife, Hack Mimic, and my last copy of RDO 9. I'm out of stock again on RDO 9. So the total on this order was $90 even, so thank you for that purchase. All right, guys, we had a couple more sellers for sales to go through. So first things first, we sold another lot of the 22 lightly played to heavily played cards uh, for $26 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy those. And then we had a lot of five cards which sold, which were Hack Mimic, Recover Control, Shortcut, and then two foil cards, which were Bootlegger Reverse, which I still have several copies of, and Home Track Advantage, which I do still have several copies of this one too. But the total on this order was $46 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, let's take a look at what sold over the weekend. First things first, we had a massive purchase of Near Mint Accelerators cards. It was three different orders because I think I think the buyer hit the item limit in the cart multiple times. I think the limit is 40. So it was a lot of eight cards, a lot of 40 cards, and another lot of 40 cards, all different cards. So it was 88 unique Accelerators cards. The total on this order was $200 even. So thank you for that purchase and to hopefully you enjoy. Not sure if they are starting a collection or trying to play the card game, but uh, they definitely got a good start. It's about a third of the Accelerators collection right here. But uh, so thank you for that purchase. And next up we sold two mint foil cards, which were an RDO one version two and the fog vision card that we just pulled out of the last pack opening is already gone. So the total on this order was $56 even. So thank you for that purchase. Next up, we sold a lot of seven near mint to mint cards, which were Anti-Gravitation, the Cavern Realm, and Grappler Claw, and then four rares, which were Spectite, RDO2 version 2. I think I only have one copy of this left in stock. If you're missing it, I would not wait to get it. A copy of Bootlegger Reverse, and my last copy of Tsunami Foil. So the total on this order was $100 even, so thank you for that purchase. And next up, we had a pretty big purchase from a return buyer, which was a Carded Iridium. A carded orange wing synchro, such a sick model. A carded rolling thunder. And then it was four cards to go along with it, which were a foil RDO1 version two. My last copy of high voltage, out of stock on high voltage now. An RDO2 version two foil. And one of my RDO5. So I only have one RDO5 left in stock. So if you're missing it, get it while you can. Total on this order was $207 even. So thank you for that purchase. And next up, we had a purchase from a new buyer who I believe is a big baseline fan. So what he purchased was a hyper baseline card and a baseline card and a loose mint baseline. So there's a lot of baseline love in this order. The total in this order was $31 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of four lightly played vehicles. These all had their minor scuffs and scratches. I think the Drift Tech had a scratch on the logo there. There might've been something else I don't remember. And uh, they all just had their minor issues, like a chip there. The baseline had some some red scuffs on it. 
So just a little stuff keeping them from being mint. But the total in this order was $30 even, so thank you for that purchase. And then we sold three more loose mint cards, which were a CM6 baseline, my last CM5 riveted, and a CM5 powerbomb. Total in this order was $39 even, so thank you for this purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase of the week was not one, not two, not three, but 12 CM5 ratifieds. These are all going out to the guy who makes really cool customs, Randy Leahy. I think he said that these wheels were going to become CM5 Flathead Fury Customs, which are, of course, a super sick custom model. So can't wait to see them when they're all done. Keep your eyes on the lookout for those guys. And the total on this order was $88 even, so thank you for that purchase. All right, so next up, we sold a lot of three Looseman Accelerators cards, which were a CM6 Spine Buster, a CM6 Roundified, and a CM6 Octanium. Total on this order was $35 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two lightly played foil cards, which were a foil torqued power bomb and a foil hyper chicane. So two really cool vehicle foils moving out. The total in this order was $75 even, so thank you for that purchase. And next up, we sold two more lightly played foil cards, which were a foil fog vision card and a foil vector carbide. These are all foils that I've been out of stock on for a while, but I did manage to get some lightly played copies of them. Total on that order was $52 even, so thank you for that purchase. Next up, we sold a Gen 2 Acceleron Cove Light. Beautiful, beautiful car. This was my last Acceleron Cove Light. The total on this order was $65 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully, you enjoy. And the last purchase of the day was a lot of 15 near mint cards, which were RDO 5 version 2, Hyper Power Rage, my last copy of Hyper High Voltage, Chrome Realm, the Blizzard Realm, the Cosmic Realm, Hyper Spectite, the Labyrinth Realm, the Water Realm. You guys are going crazy over these Realm cards right now, that's for sure. Torque Pile Driver, RDO 4, Vectra Nitrium, the Cavern Realm, Torque Hollowback, and Vectra Iridium. The total on this order, oh wait, and he also purchased a CM6 Loose Mint Iridium. The total on this order was $78 even, so thank you for that purchase. Moving on with some accelerators sales, we sold four accelerators cards, which were Flathead Fury chicane some really rare vehicle cards here spectite i think i'm down to my last copy of spectite so if you're missing it don't hesitate to snatch it and my last copy of rdo5 so rdo5 spectite chicane and flathead fury definitely some super rare vehicle cards total in this order was 91 dollars even so thank you for that purchase hopefully you enjoy and next up we sold two loose mint cars which were a cm6 purple spine buster and a cm5 power bomb i am starting to run a little bit low on power bomb i had like 20 of them forever but i think now i'm down to five or six and uh, these purple spine busters are definitely better sellers than i thought they would be at first total on this order was 25 dollars even thank you for that purchase hopefully you enjoy and next up we sold three loose mint cars which were a cm6 anthracite a cm6 rdo6 and another cm6 purple spine buster so these purple spine busters are starting to move a lot quicker now Total on this order was $39 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy these. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. As always, hopefully you enjoy seeing the products moving in and out of my store. And be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.